Okay, we're going to talk about Wilson's theorem. Wilson's theorem says that if p is a prime number, then p minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod p. To, to show that this is true, let's first expand out the left-hand side of this, p minus 1 factorial. If you write it out in full, it's p minus 1 times p minus 2 on and on times 3 times 2 times 1. The strategy is to pair each number with its inverse, and because we're working mod p, the integers mod p are a field, which means other than zero, you can't divide by zero, so every non-zero number mod p has an inverse. So we should conceivably be able to pair every number with its inverse, but there, there are a few exceptions, and the exceptions are there are some numbers that are their own inverse. So let's see which ones, uh, which ones those are. If a number is its own inverse, that means it's a solution to x squared is congruent to 1 mod p. Because x times itself, x squared, uh, it gives you 1. Now we can solve this uh, congruence. Let's just subtract 1 from both sides. That gives us x squared minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p. Now we factor. That gives us x minus 1 times x plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p. And now we just solve this like we would in algebra. So now we just uh, set each factor equal to 0. So if x minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p, means that x is congruent to 1 mod p. That's not a surprise. So 1 is its own inverse. Next, x plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p. If we so solve this, we get x is congruent to negative 1 mod p. Or to write it uh, alternatively, you can write this as x is congruent to p minus 1 mod p. So 1 and p minus 1 are their own inverses, but every other number mod p can be paired with this inverse, and it'll be a different number. So now let's go back to p minus 1 factorial. So let's take and group 2 with its inverse. Let's group 3 with its inverse and so forth. And we'll be able to do this with every number, the exceptions being 1 and p minus 1. Now 2 times its inverse is 1, 3 times its inverse is 1, and so everything cancels out. And what we're left with is p minus 1, which as we saw just above is the same thing as negative 1 mod p. And this proves that p minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod p. And this is Wilson's theorem.